forecast. Hey there, good morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. I wanted to share with you the spectacular view we've got this morning from our AOC Auto Parts camera in Cal Allen. Here we go, lots of pink and blue in the sky here, the cotton candy type of sky. Yeah, it's just a gorgeous start to the morning here. Traffic looking okay on Wildcat. And you know what? We've got more clouds in the sky this morning. We'll have even more this afternoon, and we'll talk about how that's going to impact how warm we get this afternoon in just a minute, but 638 your time right now on this Tuesday morning. How are the temperatures looking? Well, we're a little warmer. We're still in the upper 40s for many inland neighborhoods. 46 for Beeville and George West, as well as Orange Grove, 48 in San Diego, 47 from Heavenville up through Alice and Robstown. But once you pass that 281, 77 mark, uh, we start moving closer to the coastline. We get some 50s on the board, 53 for Rockport, 51 at CCIA and 50 there in Kingsville along the immediate coastline. The warmest. We're looking at 61 in Port Aransas, 63 at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. So while you may think a warmer morning will translate to a warmer afternoon, we're going to have more clouds and that will limit temperatures as we head on into the afternoon. We'll also have a little more humidity. So hour by hour here in, in Corpus Christi, we're expecting to get to those upper 60s by the time we start heading into the lunch hour. We'll be at about 70 by noon and then uh, gently work our way into those lower to middle 70s before it's all set said and done. Now yesterday we got to the upper 70s on account of some drier air and lots of sunshine. We'll have a little more moisture in the mix here and that'll make for cloudy skies. So that's really going to put a cap on our ability to warm up. But a beautiful sunrise officially taking place at 715. Don't know how much of the sun we'll see at sunset uh, come 539 p.m. But overall the clouds I don't think will disappoint at all today if you are a lover of a variety because we're going to have a whole bunch. We've had the moisture upstairs in the atmosphere that gave us the beautiful wispy clouds, the cirrus clouds we had yesterday. Today, because of that moisture coming in here at the ground level, the lower levels of the atmosphere, we'll have some of those puffy white cumulus clouds too. So this humidity will be on the rise. The muggy meter showing an increase in our dew point temperatures going from the 40s and 50s this morning uh, to the upper 60s by the weekend. That's enough water in the air to give us some opportunity for rain. If only we have something to wring out that rain in the atmosphere. For that, we head upstairs in the atmosphere. We've had dry weather because of high pressure over South Texas and to our south. That's given us that north wind, lots of sunshine, but that's moving off into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have little bits of energy out ahead of our next cold front that could help to bring us some showers say Thursday into Friday and then as that cold front nears over the weekend we're watching those rain chances very carefully. Nothing overly impressive isolated to widely scattered showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder but I think uh, late in the day on Christmas we could see our next cold front and that'll give us our best rain chances. Now we've got some warm temperatures ahead. I don't think we're going to beat the record warm December. That was back in 2021 with an average temperature of 68.8, but we are looking at warmer than normal temperatures, even into the extended forecast from Christmas on till the 29th for everybody here in the reds and oranges, likely very high probability we are going to be warm. So here's a look at that seven day forecast, warmer and muggy as we cruise to the next couple of days.